Alright, so check this out. So when I'm in OBS Studio, um, I'm going to start the stream from down here in the control panel. So once I click on start stream, basically what that is going to do is it's going to signal my Periscope account to act as a server to push out the data from the video. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my phone here and when I go into Periscope Producer from my settings I've got my preview broadcast here when I click on there it gives me a preview of what's going on to where I can actually do my title nobody sees that nobody sees that only you can see that and this is where I actually do my audio checking so if I turn it up, right now I don't have my headphones in. Well, I do have my headphones in, but it's not connected. If I turn it up, you can actually hear my hear me. If I turn through it, up, it maybe. You can actually hear my hear me. Maybe not. Uh, it don't matter. So I can actually check my volumes here. So I can actually. Here's the trick, though. Here. You have to give yourself a pause because remember that there is a delay from a when the audience hears you versus. I mean, in comparison to when you speak. So after you've done all your testing, you check your audio levels and everything sounds good to you. Pause. And as you saw in my screen here on the phone, it showed when I stopped. So when you see yourself stop, that's when you actually go live with your broadcast. I'm going to do it again. So I'm doing all the talking, waving here in the preview screen. Let's see what it does on the, the phone. In the preview screen, let's see what it does on the, the phone. I notice it stopped, then I hit go live. I notice it stopped, then I